I haven't uploaded on this channel for ages, but I just finished watching season 7 of The Flash last week, and my blood pressure hasn't really gone down <laughs> since I watched it. It's it's not just one of the worst seasons of The Flash that I've ever seen, it's one of the worst seasons of television that I think I've ever seen. I'm mostly going to wing it for this video. I uh, literally planned on making this video like 15, 20 minutes ago, just while I was sitting there kind of stewing in my frustration about the show. I don't really care how many people even watch this. I just need to vent because what the fuck? I think the way I'm going to format this is that I'm going to list all of the things that I think they could do to fix The Flash. Otherwise, I think they should just cancel it. It doesn't make me happy to say that either because The Flash has been my favorite superhero since I was a little kid. Uh, since I was like 10 years old and my mum bought me the Grodd Unleashed comic book. After that, I was pretty much obsessed with The although it was Wally West at the time. I was obsessed with The Flash. I was obsessed with Constantine Gambit from the X-Men. Those were like my favorites. And I specifically remember being like kind of half-heartedly into Arrow when it came out, just because that was like really the only DC show we kind of had at the time. And when Barry Allen showed up on that show, I lost my fucking mind. I think when they aired the teaser for The Flash show coming up, I, pro I probably pissed my pants. I was so fucking excited. It was... I was literally losing it. I was like telling all my friends, I was like, they're finally doing it. I'm, I'm finally going to have The Flash live action on television with a budget. This is going to be the best show in the world. And it's because of that that uh, I get so passionate uh, talking about this now. That's the only reason because I, I kind of do take it seriously and I know that's going to be cringe to some people. I know that's going to be kind of embarrassing, whatever. I don't fucking care, man. I care about this show and I'm pissed off at what they've done with it. Anyway, uh, season one to season two of The Flash was pretty much exactly what it should have been. It was fun. That is the feeling that I have always had associated with The Flash in comparison to other superheroes. It was fun. It was colorful. It was optimistic. Like Batman is the dark and the moody, which is also very cool. Um, and The Flash was meant to be the complete opposite. He was the fun and the bright one. Barry Allen as a character was always hopeful. He was smart because you would be forgiven for forgetting this, but he is a literal forensic scientist. But as everyone and their dog has pointed out on YouTube at this point, uh, season three to four onwards, especially up to season seven now, the show just started transforming into a miserable pile of corny nonsense. It was cheesy in the beginning, but it kind of worked because it was fun. I just want to make it clear, I, I love pretty much the entire cast of this show. I, I really do. I think that Grant Gustin is a fantastic Barry Allen. It makes me really happy that people still seem to agree on that. I, I Candace as Iris, I, I think she's great. I love Joe West. He might be one of my favorites in the show, or at least he was one of my favorites in the show before they completely sidelined him. And don't even get me started on Cisco. I, like everyone else who was a fan of the TV show The Flash, love Cisco Ramon. The problem is how these characters are being written. I don't write scripts for a TV show. I think literally an amateur could do a much better job than what's being done at the moment because it's fucking absurd. The problem is the writing not the actors. That's my segue into my first point, my point number one for fixing The Flash. Dial down on the corniness, oh my god. It breaks my damn heart every time I see people completely like trashing and roasting The Flash, the show, on TikTok. Um, it used to make me really sad, and it still does make me sad, but the difference now is... I can't defend it anymore. How can I defend it? Barry talks about doing it for his family more than Dominic Toretto. I get a lot of kids watch this, but dial it back. This isn't Beetleborgs. If you can have people being stabbed in the chest, you can stop ripping dialogue from children's cartoons. I know the writers all think that the line, we are the Flash, sounds really cool, but it's stupid. Every Flash fan I've spoken to hates it. That's kind of become the catchphrase for the show, and... It's not good. I get the meaning behind it. It's like the Flash isn't just one guy. It's not just a superhero. It's also the people he has around them. And that fits the theme of the Flash quite well. I get that. But when we're talking about Flash, the TV show, that has translated into making the Flash a side character within a large cast of side characters. There almost is no main characters anymore. And that just brings a whole sad new meaning to we are the Flash. And it's not just the dialogue too, there's a ton of other like awkward, 
just corny stuff, like awkward posing, and I'm gonna draw the line at speedsters summoning literal lightsabers. When I saw that happen, I like put my head in my hands and I just said, dude, no. I literally don't want to watch this show around other people anymore. It's embarrassing. I'm obviously not recommending it to anyone anymore. Point two, and this doesn't really need to be said, it's like beating a dead horse at this point, but fix the fucking CGI. What the fuck? If the guys at Corridor Crew, a YouTube channel, can make better special effects in half a day on a desktop computer, you definitely have the budget to do better. I'm literally boggled by the fact that the CGI is getting worse every season. J just fix it. Just fix it. You can do it. If you really are putting a lot of money into it, you need better visual effects artists because it sucks. Point three, Iris West. Um, I'm not going to go in a direction that you're probably expecting with this one. Everyone seems, everyone that talks about The Flash seems to passionately hate Iris West. And I don't, I don't really get it. I don't know why so many people shit on Iris. I like her as a character and I think that she's incredibly vital to the show. I like the actress. Again, the problem isn't with her, the problem is with the writing. I have no idea why after season three they decided to make her the leader of the team, like the actual leader. This isn't me trying to make some dumb point about like, girls can't be leaders, it's just her as a character, that, that makes no sense. The show is called The Flash. The leader should be Barry. That should be the progression of his literal main character arc. And I think there's a very simple solution to this. I think there is a role for Iris that is much more fitting for her and equally important. She should just be a journalist. That is her thing, right? Even better, have Iris be uh, the link or the bridge between Team Flash and the citizens of Central City. Have Iris be the window for us as the viewers of the show into how the people of the city feel about The Flash. Because does anyone watching the show remember that there are people living in Central City anymore? Because they're just props now. Around the start of the show, we would see people like loving The Flash. He was getting coffees named after him. People would cheer as he comes running down the street. We haven't seen that in ages. It's almost like the people of the city don't exist or they don't know that Barry exists. I swear it's been multiple seasons since we've seen The Flash interact with a citizen of the city. The same city that is m literally making a museum dedicated to this superhero, yet no one seems to talk about him. Have Iris be the window. Have her talk to citizens about The Flash. Bring them into the world through her because she is a journalist. Point four, do better stuff with Barry's powers. The answer is almost always, in every episode, the answer is just, he needs to go faster. My man can run fast enough to literally time travel, and you're going to tell me that he's too slow to slap around literally anyone else who doesn't have super speed? And even if he couldn't, you have decades of comic books to refer to as source material for all of the other abilities that Barry has, or that he should at least be trying to master or accomplish. Why not once in a while have Barry use his brain instead of trying to solve everything by just running faster? Because boiling the flash down to guy who runs fast is the exact same mindset that people who hated on me for being a Flash fan used to have when I was a kid. I would say, oh, I think the Flash is the best character, and they'd be like, oh, he runs fast, that's it. But that's not it. And you should know that because you're literally creating the TV show based on that character. And again, Barry is a scientist. He's meant to be smart. He's a man with above average intelligence surrounded by literal geniuses. We want to see him outthink the bad guys, not just outrun them. I, I swear they did like the whole thinker arc and they were like, there we go. Barry did something smart. Let's move on. We've done the whole thinking part. Also, Jesus Christ, be consistent. If Barry can use the speed force to freeze time, don't tell me he's getting punched or hit with a laser beam. Point five, and the biggest one for me, is make the show fun again. Please. This is actually more just me, like, begging <laughs> at this point. I can't remember the last time we had a fun episode. I am so... So sick of seeing Barry complain and mope and self-pity and self-deprecate and go on and on and on about how everything is his fault and how if he was just faster, you know, this wouldn't be happening. I'm sick of seeing him snap out of anger at 
absolutely everyone around him for some kind of contrived conflict and then apologizing like this hasn't just happened three times in the last week. It's not emotional. It just makes him look like a dick. It makes it hard to like the main character. Again, I can't remember the last time we just had a fun episode, man. Like, obviously the people creating The Flash have no issue with like squeezing in a ton of filler, so at least make some of the filler fun. Let Barry Allen have fun. Uh, when was the last time that The Flash stopped a criminal that wasn't a meta? I know you can't make an entire episode out of a criminal that isn't a meta, but you don't need to. Why not have a few episodes where he just fights crime, where he just solves a lot of little crimes, maybe even just as a CSI uh, agent, because that's that's what he is. He's a crime scene investigator. Why not have him investigate a crime scene and then use his speed to solve the crime and not have it boil down to a meta that kicks his ass on the first interaction? It doesn't always have to be life or death, you know? Everyone on the show seems so tired. It's just, and everyone watching is tired. It's just so depressing now, especially Joe West. Uh, they really wrote that character into a hole. Point six, cut a ton of the side characters out, please. It's actually absurd. I have literally no idea why Allegra is in the show. She seems to have no kind of relationship with any of the other characters. Is she still working for Iris at the, at the, like, the journal, the newspaper thing? Does the newspaper thing still exist? Who cares? If Frost and Caitlin are separated, guess what? Now we have two characters instead of one, and one of those characters is practically useless. The whole Chillblane subplot is some of the most boring shit I've ever seen in my entire like life, and took valuable time away from an already short period of time for a villain that had been hyped up for years. The Kristen Kramer stuff? Cut it out. It's boring, it's unnecessary, just bring Joe West back to Team Flash. Not every single character has to be a meta, by the way. Cecile is a lovely character and good for you, Joe. But she should have never been made a main character and she sure as shit shouldn't have got uh, powers. She's like a huge part of every single episode now and no one cares. The problem is that with this enormous cast of characters, this enormous cast of super powered characters now, the show is basically just super family rather than what we came for, which is The Flash. The Flash is a side character in his own show. Point seven, uh, an obvious one, work harder on the villains. I know that's vague. Again, I don't write for television. I don't know how they hyped up Godspeed for years and then had him show up in like three episodes uh, of season seven. The whole f like forces thing uh, was just weird as hell and actually kind of icky. Seeing these grown ass people, uh, I'm still confused. Like were they people before they became the forces? Like it's very unclear because the psychic one, he had a life before this before he became the force, right? But then these grown-ass people, this this group of forces, they start referring to Iris and Barry as mum and dad. That's just weird. Like, and it's super uncomfortable. Like, they're grown-ass people who had lives, aren't they? I don't like it. And the explanation was stupid as well. It's like, Barry and Iris created the forces with the power of their love. It's like, I know when you wrote that down on, on a piece of paper and put it on the table in front of everyone else. I know most of you are thinking, we might be taking this too far. Again, there is an immense roster of DC Flash villains to pull from. I don't know how we end up with such subpar trash. Just make them less corny. That's all you have to do. And put Barry in a situation where he doesn't just have to outrun them. He has to actually use his brain and use his speed in a way that doesn't boil down to just running faster. And I'm not talking about fucking lightsabers. I'm I'm done. I'm done with this. I'm over it. Uh, I'll keep watching the show, of course, because I'm holding on to the tiny nugget of hope that this show will stop turning, well, it'll stop transforming from the Flash into Power Rangers. I'm, I'm hoping. I'll add really quickly that I actually really liked uh, Bart Allen or Impulse in season seven. It was like, he was like a breath of fresh air. The actor was great, I think. He was able to be fun and still show like intense emotion, which is exactly what Barry should be. That's the Flash. If they can't fix this shit, they should just cancel the show or, or just give the show to Impulse and Nora. Let, let the show move on to the next natural stage. I don't know. Fuck it. Bye.